This is True Colors of Cybersecurity. Powered by CISOshare in Southern California to be enjoyed globally, we discuss the unspoken truth in the cybersecurity industry. Check out our other episodes at CISOshare.com forward slash cyber dash security dash podcast. Hi, and welcome to another episode of True Colors of Cybersecurity. My name is Celine, and we are back with another segment today on Cybersecurity Basics. Today, we're looking at security program assessments, why organizations have to conduct them, and more importantly, how they can be helpful to an organization's security program goals. So what is a security program assessment? Why do organizations have to conduct them? An assessment of a security program is a review of an organization's specific security program alignment to a system of standards, guidelines, and best practice frameworks for the industry, such as ISO 27001 and NIST. The frameworks and regulatory requirements an organization is measured against usually changes based on an organization's industry, goals, the information they handle or process, as well as location. Think about GDPR, or the General Data Protection Regulation, or the California Consumer Privacy Act. Some frameworks and requirements require annual assessments and reporting. But beyond fulfilling regulatory requirements, security program assessments can be a valuable tool to give organizations visibility into their program's current state. A properly conducted assessment is useful for identifying any risks and vulnerabilities that need to be addressed. These risks and vulnerabilities can then be used as a basis for a strategic, multi-year roadmap and any associated security projects. You might be wondering, But doesn't security touch every part of an organization? Does that mean you have to assess every aspect of the business? That would take forever. While it's true that security should be a consideration for every aspect of your business, that doesn't mean you have to assess every inch of your organization. Not all security program assessments are made equal. The key to conducting an effective assessment is defining the right assessment scope and keeping it in line with the organizational objectives. Conducting an overall best practice assessment might give you a good understanding of how security works throughout the entire environment, but having specific goals for an assessment will give better insight on areas that need more attention. So what are some common security program areas for assessment? The first is the enterprise-wide risk assessment. An enterprise risk assessment is the broadest assessment scope with the goal of looking at risk throughout the entire environment, not just within the security program itself. Although enterprise risk assessments don't solely deal with security, this is a good way to get an overview of a security program's current state according to a set of requirements and best practices. Keeping an organization's environment safe means that security can't be left as an afterthought. Integrating security from the very beginning can save time, money, and an organization's reputation. Vulnerability management is another commonly assessed area of a security program, and for good reason. A vulnerability management program is critical for an organization to understand the attack surface of their environment and identifying any risks related to the network's construction. An assessment of the vulnerability management program often involves an assessment of both the processes and aspects of the organization's technical environment, such as network and devices. As you would expect, incident management response is another common aspect of security programs that organizations choose to assess. Working to prevent incidents is high on everyone's priority list to keep data safe while measuring an organization's response to active incidents. Assessments around incident management involve investigating any tools, policies, and processes that the organization has in place around monitoring and detecting suspicious activity in the environment. Any incident management assessments should also investigate the roles and responsibilities of employees that are involved in any incident management and response procedures. No matter the scope or depth of a security program assessment, the goal is to get a complete view of the areas assessed so that the security team and executive management can make informed decisions around the security program strategy. Remember, a good assessment isn't just about checking the box that it's been done for its own sake. It's about proactively finding weaknesses in your environment and building a strategy to improve on them. Keep the assessment objectives in mind from the beginning to conduct a thorough and effective assessment. And that's what we have for today's episode. Hopefully this gave you some better insight on the basics of security program assessments, what to expect, and how to better utilize them. If you want more detail and insight, we have lots of resources on our site, CISOshare.com. As always, let us know what you thought of today's episode. We love to hear your questions along with suggestions on what you'd like us to cover next. Until next time.